What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? A trucker at a Love's Trust Stop getting arrested for a fake gun. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Please don't hurt the dog. So, long story short about that video, supposedly Another driver, from what I heard, pulled an airsoft gun that looked like an AR-15 on another driver. That driver did not know it was a fake gun, so he feared for his life, went and told the truck stop people, and called the police. The driver that he, that struck that was, he went and parked the truck and went and took a shower, thinking the other driver was not going to call the cops and the whole truck stop wasn't going to put itself on lockdown. And yeah, I uh, I tend to care about dogs more than people. We got Christopher in the building. Wow. What's good, yep. my guy? How you feel, man? I'm all right. Um, I'm not used to all the attention that's on that TikTok right now. <laughs> yeah, man, that's 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 a wild one. So let's uh <laughs> let's let's just let's let's just, you know, without further ado, let's just jump right into it, man, because I I I, I need I, I need more. Like like I mean when I seen the video, I'm like, whoa, like I I thought it was like three deep um on three different trucks, but this No, it was four on one. Okay. So talk to us, man. What 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 actually happened that night? From the talk of the truck stop and what the employees was telling me, I don't know what triggered it, but the driver that was in a white Freightliner, for whatever reason, he thought it was a good idea to pull an airsoft gun out on another driver. And that driver did not know that it was a fake gun. So he went and told the Love's employee that there was a gun that was poured on him in the truck stop. Now And that's what that led up to that. Now it's 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 funny that I, I you know, I, I I wanna I wanna give the benefit of the doubt to everybody, but I, I don't think a driver will, will pull the gun out a gun or an airsoft gun for that matter on on someone if that other person wasn't messing with him. So what the 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 driver that the gun that was pulled out on, he he tried to play like oh well, you know, this driver just you pulled know, a gun out see, on me or I, whatever. I, I didn't I didn't I didn't see what happened, but you know how you know if you're if you're a driver, you know how it gets you know, in these truck stops, especially at night when it comes to parking spots, or if it was something that transpired in the fuel island, which I don't think that did because it wasn't busy. Um, you know, tempers get heated up there in the fuel island. You, know, you get one person that can't control his anger if he has something that he wants to use to try to scare you or use as a you know as a weapon. They'll do it. Right, right. So, so now. The the trust stop, I believe, called the cops, and the cops came over there to set up on the truck. But in one of your videos, you mentioned that the driver wasn't even in the truck. No, he was. Uh, they went and uh, pulled him out of the shower. Wow. No, because because uh, that whole that whole ordeal was going on for about 30, 30 minutes. I was after standing there watching. Mm -hmm. About a 
about ten minutes, about five or ten minutes before that, you had the, that that one SUV that pulled up. He was actually sitting in front of my truck, looking at trucks, mm. looking at my truck because I drive a Freightliner. Uh, I was like, "Well, what are we doing?" <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, I got out of that truck. You know, once he walked past, and I was like, "Whatever." You know, so I watched him out my mirror or my window, mm-hmm. and then he walked back in front of the truck. Uh, whatever. And then he goes again uh, t- towards, you know, a third time. So I put my socks and shoes on, and I, I get out try to go find them and see what's going on. I can't see nothing. At that time, there was no light. There was nothing going on behind me. So I get back in the truck, and, I, you know, I've been practicing, not practicing my guitar, and I look in my mirror, and I see red and blues. I'm like, and that cop's still sitting in front of me. I'm like, I know I didn't do nothing because I'm on a 34. So you thinking <laughs> you you thinking they about to come and snatch you up, huh? I'm th- I, that's not what I said. I'm like, but he's sitting in front of me, and there's red and blues behind me. And I'm like, this is private property. I know they ain't gonna try to do an inspection when I'm on a 34. Right. <laughs> yeah, so I get I I start walking around, and then uh, once I walk behind my truck, you can hear driver, we got your truck surrounded. Come out with your hands up and no weapon. Whoa! I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's when I see that uh, white freight liner. Mm-hmm. And then uh, that's when I kind of go lean up against the building there a little bit, uh, where you can get that little good view of all three right. to four cops. Yeah, like I said, when I with all the guns drawn out. Yeah, when I seen it, I I thought it was like I I thought it was like three, at least three going to like three different trucks. That's what I thought. But right, but come that's to, why I thought it originally. But then I saw that all of them just climbed on the one truck. I'm like, oh shit! They all converge on that. Um, all right. So they 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 snatched them up out of the out of the shower. Uh, was he a was he arrested or or what was the outcome? It or looked, do you know? Yeah, it, it looks because yeah, uh, they had they had them in handcuffs. At that point, there was nothing going on, so I went back in the truck. But I'd imagine they, they took, you know, after a whole scene like that, they're just not going to let you go. You know, you're, they're going to at least book you for 24 hours. Right. Or at least have you a, know, have a bail. The morning. Yeah, have you have you bail out. Right. Yeah, when I got up in the morning, his truck was done gone. So I don't know if he got released and Cam got his truck or whatnot. But it looked like he went to jail that night. Wow. That's that's crazy. For an airsoft gun, though, that's that's even crazier. <laughs> like, I mean, it wasn't even a real gun. I, well, at least the person. Somebody, somebody the, the, looked real, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, some airsoft guns do look real, you know. So, I mean, you would think. An airsoft gun, you can get away with that, you know, because considering the fact that, you know, most companies don't allow us to have, you know, the firearms on a truck. Right. So. Which they should. Right. You would think an airsoft gun, you would, you could probably get away with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but. I'll try to go and defend the defend the other driver though on this one. Mm-hmm. If you pull an airsoft gun out on me and it looks real, I'm not going to try to make the decision if it's real or not. I'm just going to assume it's real. Exactly. And at that point, I'm at that point, I'm going to do whatever I got to keep myself alive, whether I attack it or I try to get away. Exactly. And I and I couldn't tell which one I would do. All right, my man Chris, man. Hey, let let everybody know how they can uh how they can follow you, bro. Oh, I think I lost you. No, I'm still here. Oh, okay, okay. Let everybody know yeah. how they can uh yeah, I how they can lost you a little bit. Yeah, let everybody know how they can follow you, bro. Uh they all can follow me on that one TikTok. Uh I think it was Florida Trucker 1992. All right. All right. Chris, man, thank you very much for your time right quick, bro. I really do appreciate it. If something else go down, man, let us, you know, come back and let us know. 
Yeah, if I see something, I'll post it. And uh, if anything answers, I'll tag you in it. But I try to stay away from interest and stuff. That's why I go to Loves. <laughs> <laughs> that boy say Loves. <laughs> Well, no, because that, 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 that particular incident, you wouldn't expect that to happen at a love truck stop. You think TA, Petro, Pilot, Flying J. Where where was that? I go to Love's because I go. Where was that exactly? That was just that was just, just right outside of Loveland, Colorado, which is about 30, 40 miles north of Denver. Wow. So it, it wasn't even in a big major city. You know, it was just out, out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you saying the boom dots, huh? Basically. <laughs> All right, bro. Well, I'm going to go in and uh, let you go. Thank you for your time, man. I really do appreciate it. And everybody, y'all, we yeah, can. Uh, I'll tag the. I'll, I'll tag the video in the. Um, you know, in the uh, in the description, so everybody can go ahead and check it out. All right, no problem. Have a good day, bud. Be safe. All right, now. Big G's got it locked. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around Want you to take it like a G, yeah